So we're going to go into special circumstances. So there are many reasons why there's special circumstances. Oftentimes parents are not available for whatever reason. And so if you are unable to provide information about your parent, now you need to be very clear. It, um, they are not interested in having you fill this out if students are suggesting they don't have a relationship with their parents but there is a large population of students that truly do not have a relationship with their parent. They don't even know where they live or they're unable to get a hold of them. They could be incarcerated. They could have left years ago and they just have absolutely no connection to their parent. So you would put in, I am unable. And here you are on your phone, dependent student. So this is for a dependent student. So here is the list. Okay, of your opportunity to, um, it has to fall under this category. So explain why. So they're looking for exam, they're showing you examples. So it could be you, your parents are incarcerated. You had to leave home because of abuse and an abusive family environment. You do not know where your parents are and are unable to contact them or you and you still have not been adopted so there are circumstances like that so not all circumstances are considered for this form they don't um, just because you do not live with your parents that does not uh, support that you can't get their information many students go off to college and they basically have opportunities at the college over the summer and they never live with their parents again. So that's, um, that's a situation. Or they choose to, say, move in with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's not considered a special circumstance. Your parents are not providing you with financial support, even though you're still young and you're wanting to go to college. It's actually, as soon as you're 18 and for the most part graduated from high school, your parents really have no obligation to support you. And so that is not considered a special circumstance. They still, even if they're not paying for you in any way, they still want you to submit their information in the FAFSA. Your parents may refuse to contribute to your college expenses. That is actually not considered a special circumstance. Your parents don't claim you as a dependent they may not be claiming you. You might be filling out your own taxes. And again, that is not considered a special circumstance. Or your parents do not want to provide their information on the FAFSA for whatever reason. So it's really important that you understand that there are only three ways that you, you would be considered under the umbrella that the FAFSA considers special circumstances. I hope that explains it because this, I get asked a lot about these particular things, um, you know, special circumstances, and it is a very, very narrow road. So I want you to pay attention to that and try your hardest to get the information from your parents. And, um, you know, please reach out to me. I've been able to successfully explain to some parents who do not want to give the information for whatever reason why it's important and just because parents fill out the information does not mean that they are required to pay for your college. So that's usually once parents understand that they're usually very okay with giving um, the information. Here it is what it looks like on your phone app and you can now they're asking you to choose one of the options that about special circumstances so if you did fall under the three that they allow you can press i have a special circumstance so next they are you're unable to provide they ask um, they basically assume that you're unable to provide the information 